months. I wanted to give you a couple of things that you could do, a couple of take home messages, things that you could be doing for your immune health right now tonight. So let's put up this study on, we've got a research study on zinc ionophoric activity of quercetin. So again, I said that an ionophore is something that binds or chelates to zinc and helps it get into the cell. Well, this research study you can see here confirms that polyphenols transport zinc across the plasma membrane independently of plasma membrane zinc transporters. So what are those polyphenols? I've talked about these already in a number of shows. Uh, quercetin is one of them that improves zinc concentration in the cell. And then we also have epigallocatechin gallate, um, which is a, a compound derived from the green tea and some other plant-based products. But that particular EPCD is what it's oftentimes referred to, epi, uh, epigallocatechin gallate and quercetin, both natural plant-based products that are known to increase the concentration of zinc in the cell where it can get in the cell and start actually having an impact. You can see here, again, in this research study that the ionophore activity of dietary polyphenols may underlay the raising of label zinc levels triggered in cells by polyphenols and thus many of their biological actions. Now, remember that zinc plays a role in more than just viral replication inhibition. Zinc plays a role in, in, in approximately, at least what we know of, uh, several hundred different chemical reactions. Some of those reactions are also important as it relates to um, supporting the body to recover from viral problems. And one of those is in an enzyme system called SOD. SOD is, a, is an enzyme called superoxide dismutase. It's a very, very potent, very powerful antioxidant. And so again, one of the things that happens with viral infection is free radical buildup and damage to tissues. So the more you have antioxidants to protect you, uh, the more solid your antioxidant status, the less risk for potential complications. And there are a number of research studies that have shown that with both zinc and vitamin C, vitamin C also acting as an antioxidant, which, we, which we've talked about a number of times. So now I wanna pull up some more zinc research for you or some more quercetin uh, elements for you. So if you're looking at food sources of quercetin, let's, let's pull that up because if you want to eat your, your quercetin, you can do that too. You can also supplement with quercetin, but if you want to eat quercetin, if you look at this slide here that we've got for you again, coming out of, uh, research, apples are rich in quercetin, broccoli, berries, onions, black tea, and grapes, all excellent dietary sources with high levels of quercetin. Of course, of this list, apples and berries being the ones that have the highest or the greatest quantity of quercetin in them. If you're using quercetin supplementation, of course, you can do that too. Um, my advice would be understanding that quercetin is more bioavailable if you mix it with pomegranate. Um, it, it, en it enhances the bioavailability quite uh, quite aggressively, which is one of the reasons why, you know, my formulation of quercetin has pomegranate in it. You can also, if you, if you are taking supplemental quercetin, you can take it with pomegranate as well as a food and potentially increase the absorption of that quercetin that you're using. So those food sources, if you're trying to get more quercetin in, you are a good way to go. Again, you can also supplement with quercetin. Now, as far as the EPCG, the epicatechin, uh, the gallates, those, that particular substance is found predominantly in green tea. So if you drink your cup of green tea on a daily basis, then um, you're going to be getting a dietary source of that. Again, the more you can do it from a food-based source, the, you know, the better you're going to be off, especially if you can't find supplemental sources of quercetin. It's really hard to find these things right now because the market has been so sold out because of people's fear over you know, over COVID-19 as a general rule. So if you can find those foods and again, gr drink your green tea, you may be able to get access to some of that quercetin. It'll help you better get that zinc into your cell membrane. So these are, again, these are the reasons If we, again, we're looking at hydroxychloroquine as being the potential for nerve, eye, and, and heart toxicity. But we look at the mechanism of action of why we think it works. It's because it gets zinc into the cell 
allowing zinc to work its magic on the prevention and viral replication. As I showed you, there are four different areas where we know in human trials where zinc has actually been shown to reduce viral uh, viral load and mechanisms behind viral replication. Not, none of those studies have been done in COVID-19, but again, no, no real studies have been done in COVID-19 to prove or disprove any type of valid treatment. So again, I'm trying to give you strategies that you can implement, food-based strategies, nutrition-based strategies that you can implement to, um, to give your body the best immune support that you can. And, and please don't construe any of this as, as me trying to tell you how to treat or mitigate or prevent COVID-19. Again, I'm just trying to give you strategies on building your immune functions. Hey, don't forget to check out the rest of the series right here. Make sure you hit subscribe below. And as always, thanks for tuning in.